Hello there and welcome along to Hive Live Extra, your place for exclusive reaction and analysis following Watford's 2-0 victory over Rotherham United. So the Hornets back to winning ways at home once more in front of 2,000 fans here at the home of the Hornets. And here with me in the studio to talk through the twists and turns of the game, I'm joined by two former Watford players in Will Hoskins and Paolo Venazza. Uh, Paolo, that's more like it, isn't it? They'll be pleased with that. I think so. Listen, the important thing was to get the three points tonight. Uh, they needed a reaction after the Cardiff game. We said at the beginning of the show that they needed to come out and be on the front foot. And they certainly put that performance in in the first 45, which enabled them to go and win the game. Yeah. And well, I think the departing words on commentary with John and Tommy were job done. And I think, yeah, that's a fair summary, isn't it? Yeah, that's what they needed to get done tonight. And it was what they set out to do and they got it done takes you on to the weekend, hopefully you get another three points and it becomes a good week. I mean, second half was slow and they'll know that, but this time it's on a positive result rather than obviously against Cardiff when it was, uh, you know, against a loss. Yeah, and the main thing was they came out hard and fast, which is what we said we wanted to see here in the studio and they did just that and it really makes a difference, doesn't it, Paolo? Of course it did. Listen, it affected Rotherham's game plan completely. So it enabled uh, them to sit back and try to take control of the game and move the ball about and going in 2-0 at half-time enabled them to maybe take their foot off the gas a little bit in the second half, but luckily enough still managed to get the three points. Yeah, with that, I suppose if we're being super critical, Will, there might be fans that are a bit miffed that we didn't go on and score a couple more in the um, second 45, but it comes back to the first point at this, you know, at this stage, and you've had a disappointing result on Saturday, you just want to come into this one and get all three points and get yeah. back onto winning ways. Well, like I said, I think at half-time, Paul Warren would have got into his side give them a little bit of direction on how to come out the second half, saying, you know, you get a goal and we're back in this. Sort of push back the full backs a little bit. They didn't push on as they did the first half and sort of create that sort of, um, you know, against Rotherham where they could, um, you know, it really put them on the back foot. Mm. So, yeah, um, it's a good result and job done. Well, we're all about exclusive content here on Hive Live Extra. So with that, let's head pitch side now at Vicarage Road for more reaction. Christian, is that just what was needed after Saturday? Yes, of course. Of course, what we showed Saturday wasn't good enough uh, against, against a team well organised. Uh, but it will be like this every, every game. And uh, it's true that the, the early goal helped us. And, uh, and yeah, what, uh, what we show today, it's what we need to show every, uh, every game, uh, every, every game, sorry. Said about the early goal. You got it. Enjoy that one. Yes, of course, because uh, I think uh, last week it was uh, three years, um, three, three years time that I, I scored my last goal uh, in the same uh, in the same side. So, so yeah, it's always good uh, to help the, to help the team uh, by uh, by scoring a goal. What's it like playing alongside William Trust Kong? You look like you have a really good partnership. Yes, it's uh, it's good uh, with William, uh, with Greg, uh, with. Uh, with Ben as well, we have uh, we have uh, a good uh, understanding uh, between us. So uh, today I play with him. Maybe in the next game it will be two other players. We don't know, but we need uh, we need this uh, strength in depth to to be able to to be competitive for for 46 games. So very pleasing uh, that the Hornets have managed to pull off that performance here in front of a further 2,000 fans at Vicarage Road tonight. And Will, with that, the challenge is now taking that kind of energy and performance and tempo on the road where there will be no fans and where we have struggled a little bit this season. Yeah, they need to take that first half performance and implement that against Birmingham. Um, not get too disheartened about how things had slowed down in the second half. Just mm. grow on that confidence that they've got the 2-0 win, they're back at the you know, near the top of the table mm. and where they should be and where they believe they should be. And yeah, just implement that on the game and hopefully come away with another three points, which will be a good week. Yeah, because Paolo, there might be concerns from the fans that because we didn't finish the game at the high tempo that we started it, that then you do end up carrying that energy into the game at Birmingham. Um, but you can speak from a player's perspective. Is there any chance of that happening or will these players be very, very well drilled at treating this as a completely different occasion? I think the players will be in there now saying, look, this is three points. We, we've done our job. We've set out to do what we had to do. And let's take the positives on this. Mm. I've said it before, it's a clean sheet. The team looked defensively very, very strong. So now they need to keep 
doing what they've done in the first half, take that into Birmingham and really just be the team that attacks them. There's some good attacking players here and if they can impose themselves on Birmingham, there's no reason why they shouldn't go and win that game as well. Yeah, I guess the issue is that we've gone into so many away games like that, Will, this season. I think there's no reason why you can't, can't come away from three points uh, with three points from a game like that. But they will frustrate us, won't they? So this side need to remember what they've done tonight and take that energy to this Birmingham side. Yeah, I think they need to realise that, like Paolo said, it's a clean sheet, scored two goals. The possession was high compared to, you know, normal game. And see it as a positive. You really strip it down. It has been actually a good, good performance. Yeah. I think, obviously, because of it being Rotherham United, you just want a little bit more. But... If you can just sort of take that into Birmingham, grow on that, and yeah, you know, you come away with three points at Birmingham with a good solid performance again, and it's, yeah, like you say, it's, it's a good week then. Yeah, and I mean, this team are certainly up and running in some respect. You can't not say that with the position that they're in the table, but I think there would be a feeling amongst the fans that if you do then follow up a performance like this with a big away performance at Birmingham City, that is when this team could really turn a corner and really up the ante at the top of the table. So the, the championship's relentless, so you're going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and it's quite easy to pick up nine points in a week. Now, if they can do that and they begin to get into the top two come Christmas time and then mm. going into January, this team can go on to be right up there at the end of it. I've, I've no doubt about that. Yeah, I suppose the other thing is as well, Will, they won't want to be looking too far ahead, but we do have two really tough home games here as well. So it's going to be really crucial that they do try and pick up as many points as they can on the road with Brentford and Norwich City just around the corner here. Yeah, no, you, you pick up as many points as you can. And then against, uh, like you say, I think them two teams, Bre um, Norwich Brent, yeah. and Brentford, they'll be up there. Mm -hmm. So if you get some results out of there, out of them, then yeah, you know, I think you, you put a mark on where you where you are. Yeah, but as it stands, Watford in a very healthy position after uh, tonight's game. And it's so, so tight, isn't it, with those top five or six teams. I think it is just one point separating the top team and the fifth team. So really, really vital that Watford have come away um, with maximum points tonight. That's it. At the end of the day, if the manager said, look, we're going to win 2 nil, boys, I think everyone would have taken yeah. it. So let's be positive about this result. OK, the performance in the second half could have been improved. But at the end of the day, there's so many positives to take from it. Now, we do want to see attacking football and the flair players like Saar really dominating the games. Yeah. But let's look at it for what it is. It's a 2 0 result against a, a well organised, drilled team. Uh, Paul Warren's team is always going to be like that. Mm. And it's a, it's a victory at the end of the day. Yeah, it certainly is. And fingers crossed for more of that on Saturday afternoon when we're away at Birmingham City. So don't forget, Hive Live is your virtual home on a Watford match day. So we'll be back with you on Saturday afternoon from two o'clock. That's watfordfc.com forward slash Hive Live. Uh, but from us here in the studio this evening, thank you to Paolo and to Will for taking us through that game once more. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you hopefully for another three points on Saturday afternoon. Good night. Click here to subscribe.